Angelic Raymonds is a sleeper set comprised of four parts that individually seem fairly bad, but holds very useful hidden features as you gain more parts of it. The core components are the sword, angelic sickle, the angelic mantle armor, as well as the angelic wings amulet and the angelic halo ring. Individually, at least at their base values, these items are generally underwhelming, with the sword being useful up to about Act 2 normal, the armor just being a bit of defense at the cost of speed, and the jewelry being somewhat bad at first glance. Though, as any veteran of the game will tell you, these items actually comprise some of the best budget tools for ubers and hell difficulty in general for melee classes. Now, with the full set, you get a massive attack rating boost, decent defense boost, fair amount of resist, not to mention boosted attack speed, life, and a whopping 140% magic find if you wear two of the rings at least. Though, generally speaking, people don't end up using the full set, instead opting for two or three part bonuses to reach different goals. Starting with the sword, the least desired part of the set, but still pretty good for low level kicksins, we have the two part bonus that raises its damage a little bit, and a three part bonus that grants it the desired attack speed boost. Though generally the main situations where I would be using this, the full set will work fine, with the sword being the first item I start cutting later on. After that, we have the armor, with a two part bonus of an extra 150 defense, and a three part bonus of an extra 50% fire resist, giving you quite a bit of extra tankiness, and I have used this combined with the amulet and rings into Nightmare before, but you will quickly see it outclassed by some rune word choices unless you're using this as your third part for a magic find bonus we'll get to a bit later. Before we get to that though, we have the most common paired item for the two part set use, the amulet which with two parts grants us a whopping 75 life, which is a significant amount whenever you start traveling with characters that can boost life by a percent, and the three part bonus gives you a nice little plus one skills, though most of the bonuses are useful to characters that aren't going to be using that plus skills outside of maybe an early enchantress. This is almost always one of the parts you'll find people using though, especially in the late game. The last and the most desirable part of the set are the rings, well, one ring that you can wear twice to double the bonus. The main use of these is actually the two part set bonus that grants you 12 attack rating per level, which adds up extremely quickly, especially while wearing two of them. Sadly, just wearing two of the rings won't give you this bonus, you do have to pair it with another distinct part of the set, but it's still kind of nice. Now as far as the three part bonus, which is useful for low and mid level magic find, it is a 50% magic find chance per ring, which gives you a 100% bonus magic find if you wear two of them, while leaving quite a few equipment slots open. As far as how much space this set takes up, for most use cases you're using two or three slots, namely a ring or two combined with the amulet outside of normal difficulty, with the sometimes use of an extra part for the magic find in early grinding. With upgrading in 2.4, some sets will get a lot stronger or more useful with the ability to bring parts up to speed, but with Angelic's primary tools being the jewelry, you'll rarely need to consider this as part of its usefulness cost, and the scimitar and armor leave very little to desire whenever it comes to the upgraded versions, only providing mediocre damage on the weapon for the cost, which is at least percent based with the partial set, albeit a low percent, and a moderate boost in defense on the armor for the cost, since most of the armor bonus is not percent based. Overall, this set is a set you want to partially use, keeping primarily one amulet and two rings from it, only keeping the other parts if you plan some low level or mid level shenanigans with kicksins, smiters, or enchantresses, since outside of them, most of the benefits will be a hindrance compared to the other similarly costed items and similarly leveled items, especially considering what other sets could be used in those slots. 